Cash Color Cannabis a high level of conversation. Not at Live Hip Hop Daily today. We're actually in Sandy Springs, Georgia. It's Super Bowl weekend, and my good friend Joe allowed me to um, set up shop here at Georgia Hemp Company in Sandy Springs. It's an amazing store. Um, clearly, you can't see right now because we're not we're not doing a live video, but you will see it later. It's, a, it's an amazing store. If you're ever in Atlanta, if you're ever around Sandy Springs, I, I definitely recommend you come by. Um, my first guest today, as far as our, um, our pop up episode of Cash Color Cannabis Live, is my friend Lisa. Hunley. Lisa, how are you doing? Very well. Thank you for the invite. Glad to be here. No problem. You know, I've been, I've been um, tongue-tying your name for the last couple of days here. It's been Lisa, Linda, Lydia. I, I'm, mom is Linda. I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your publicist told me how your mom was Linda and how, how, yes. what a coincidence that was. Yeah, yeah. but no, you're Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Lisa, it's, it's kind of crazy how I found you. You know, um, for those who don't know, not only do we have Cash Color Campus podcast, but Cash Color Campus overall is a is a media, media brand. So we have a website we run called Cash CashColorCampus.com, yes. and every day I get flooded with emails, press releases, all that about different brands and different um, organizations and cannabis who need coverage. And it just so happens I was scrolling through and I saw your name, so I had clicked on the um, the, the email and I saw that you were in Atlanta. Yes. And I said, uh uh, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no way you in Atlanta. And I haven't met you yet. So first I posted the, um, the first I posted the, the press release announcing Greenhouse Bliss was was a, was out working, the yes. website's popping. You got three new products on there. But um, I then took the next step to see if I could reach out to you and see if I could yep. actually have a chance to um, interview you and, and, and get you, get a chance to know who you are and how you got into the whole cannabis industry overall. So Definitely. So let's kick off the interview, man. Um, we do know that you are a newbie to the world of cannabis. I am. Yeah, you are a corporate America woman. You have been doing a lot of things other than playing in the green world over yep, here. Yeah, lawyer uh, by trade. Lawyer by trade. Yeah. Oh, okay, we got the right person here now. <laughs> <laughs> so talk to us, how did you find yourself leaving corporate America and launching Greenhouse Blitz? So basically building for the future. You mm -hmm. know, there is no stability in corporate right now. No. Um, I was with a very large telecommunications media conglomerate, and the restructuring occurred, and yeah. I could not um, stay in the state where I was working. You know, going back and forth every other week to work in another state, and then, you know, they want you to stay in the same city. wasn't working for me and my family. And yeah. so I walked away, and everyone was in shock when I walked away. But but um, I, when people ask me how I got into this industry, I say two words, Aunt Vivian. Okay? <laughs> and you'll, you'll hear a lot about Aunt Vivian. She's my 69-year-old aunt. She was like, hey, Lisa, there's this oil that I heard about. I want you to do the research and tell me what you think. And I did, and Aunt Vivian was on to something. And so I caught a flight out to the MJ Business Conference Which, in Vegas. You went to the one in Vegas? I did. I missed Vegas. I was in New Orleans. Oh, I missed you Vegas. missed it. 25,000 of us right, descended look, upon it. It. Vegas. <laughs> yes. And I just did a deep dive into yeah. the business. So just, you know, well-versed on the cannabis and the hemp side of the world and loved it. Yo, that is super amazing. It's crazy. When you said Aunt Viv, I immediately went to Fresh Prince of Bel Air. So I was like, did Aunt Viv really inspire you that right? much? <laughs> right. But no, congratulations to Aunt Thank Viv you. for bringing you into this in, into this new world, man. Yep. So, um, but I did I learned a little bit about you over the last couple of days through press releases and going through the websites and just watching you on Instagram. And I do know that you actually had a personal illness fight that you yes. had to battle yourself. Yes. Um, if you don't mind, speak about um, the illness. Speak about you. You know, he's going through cancer yep. and how that kind of I guess um, led you over to cannabis as well. Yep. So. For me, I was, um, I went to a, a woman's doctor, you know, appointment, and my physician um, did, it, did the test and came back a few weeks later, and um, my physician broke down on me oh. um, in the midst of our appointment, and I knew it was pretty bad. That's something with that. you don't want. Yeah, you don't want that to happen. <laughs> yeah. But basically, I was diagnosed as being stage four mm. um, ovarian cancer with three months to live, mm. and so when you have 90 days, you know, you're told you have 90 days to live, it, it you know, puts a new perspective on oh, things. Oh, yeah, that's a movie. That's yes. like a, mo a movie plot line. Yes. <laughs> So I've never been a smoker, you know, okay. I don't like the psychoactive, you know, side of um, using and um, being corporate, I have to drug test. But as part of my therapy and my treatment, I had a combination that was used, prescription and that to help me, cannabis. And so I'm familiar with that, but not familiar with the business side. And mm -hmm. so 
yes, I'm new to the business side, but I am not new to how it heals and how it can cure and how it can help. Awesome. So, you know, hey, it's been seven years and I'm still here. Yeah, man, you beat that I'm 30. I'm still here. Beat Thank that 90 you. Days. Thank you. Yeah. And so now, you know, I use it um, as a form of pain relief for anxiety um, because I'm a workaholic and I don't sleep as well, insomnia mm. as well. And I have other patients and clients and customers that use it for the same. I was telling you earlier, I have a brain cancer customer yeah, and he uses it the same that's amazing man. well yeah. I'm, I'm glad to, that you are still here thank and you're you able to not only share your story but you're able to be a help to other people thank you yeah and um, you're definitely being a help with greenhouse bliss now so I know this is a new launch um, you have some new products on the website speak to us about you know how greenhouse greenhouse bliss came about yeah. and um, what are some of the products that, that are available right now for customers well there's so much that can be done in a greenhouse yeah. you can you know grow and create and develop all of these different plants yeah. and natural things to help heal you know we know the benefits of prescription medicine and you know medicine that you know our doctors prescribe but the greenhouse the natural effects oh, yeah. the good that it can do I wanted that tied to my business in some form or fashion and of course the bliss is the peace and and tranquility and the healthy lifestyle and wellness that you get from the product as well so that's how it came to be greenhouse bliss yeah. lots of opportunities and, and you know the products that you see we have the full spectrum oils we have you know the THC free oils, we have the soft gels, we have the pet product um, oil, but there's more coming. I have a really exciting product that I'm excited about. Um, <laughs> it's a sports uh, product. Really? Yes, okay. for pain. That'll be coming. Um, and what's awesome with this is I will be able to register my company through the FDA and make medical claims, which is very, very rare for mm. our industry. So that's a big one. So clearly you did your research. That's, that's, that's good to know. Um, so far, though, again, the Brand, with the brand being brand new, how has the response yep. been so far, you know, as far as um, from family and friends, and, and have people been receptive to what you're doing? Yes, um, but I also have, you know, everybody has the haters too, mm -hmm. and everybody thinks I'm crazy also, because, you know, I'm not in corporate right now, yeah. um, but those I don't that think are you're crazy. there, thank you, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I am either, but those that are there for you, they're there for you, True. and I've always been an entrepreneur at heart, I've always had a business, even when I was in corporate, you know, it just wasn't this industry, so they're not surprised Surprise. I think it's the whole, you know, lack of education around our industry. Yeah, you know, we have yeah. to educate more so that people understand it's not just a bunch of, you know, smoke shops and, you know, vape stores and, and that kind of thing. And it's also business. not all about just getting high. Exactly. You know, like, like exactly. A, for, for the most part, people, you know, they do use it. And I hate the, the terms recreational and yes. medical. I think it's all yes. cannabis. You know, like the thing you do recreationally, you might be doing medically. That's right. Like, I mean, you know, side note, I always say that about Chief Keith. Like, I don't know if y'all watch, I don't know how big a rap fan as y'all are, but I'm I swear, one. Chief Keith has to be med has to be consuming medically. <laughs> like the life you live, there's no way you're not anxious. You're not going through all kind of like all kind of just issues, man. So yeah. I, I totally believe when I see him chain smoking, and that's for a reason. <laughs> well, I mean, and you you know their industry. I mean, you have Wiz and others um, yes. that are you know they're investing yeah. in this stuff, and um, I think he has one of the largest dispensaries in Vegas. I mean, I've been, and it's just unbelievable the stuff that they're about to do there. Yeah. So how was your time? In Vegas, you, you really seem amped, amped up about this, about this, oh my this, this trip that I wasn't able to go to. Oh my gosh, it was fabulous! And if you can make the conference in June in yeah. New Orleans, you oh, definitely going. want to go. I'm going to yep. New Orleans. I already got a and media pass. I've there. been there. But I've been to Vegas five times in the last six months just to spend time with some of my partners in the dispensaries because I want to learn that side of the world too. So when mm -hmm. Georgia gets up to speed, yeah. eventually I can switch over and broaden the that, industry. That's so crazy. We actually had a conversation about that yesterday at the state capitol about yep. Georgia developing dispensaries in Georgia actually going that route yep. as far as um, other states and it's looking bleak guys I ain't gonna lie I to you. know <laughs> like, like, we're trying I'm, keep I'm not, hope alive I'm not though. gonna lie keep to you hope alive. we're doing very well with what they call medical mm -hmm. like let's hope they just give us more more access to that but man yeah. you should have saw the responses yesterday I was oh, like jeez I've had the conversation so I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about yeah at one point one representative said she had spoke to another representative who was a Republican and she asked her where she was going and she said well I was going to this reform Georgia um, meeting where we we're gonna discuss 
possibly bringing cannabis to this. She stopped us. Oh, let me need to have this conversation. Wow. Yeah, it's so crazy because I'm like, you cannot like leave money on the ground like that. That's right. You know, to, to quote my man Coach, you can't have. We have such a Hollywood. We have such a Hollywood industry building yes. up in, in in Georgia. And what you can't do is have somebody like Johnny Depp coming down here and getting arrested over a blunt. Exactly. As, as Coach would say, that's just rude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that is just totally rude right there, man. So, what's your favorite product, or your do you have a personal favorite so far of your own of, of your line? I do. I mean, I use the oils faithfully. Key lime pie is my favorite flavor. It smells like key lime pie. I use a coconut oil carrier. Okay. So instead of you know the hemp seed oil, and so it doesn't leave an aftertaste in your mouth. You can infuse it. So I make the cupcakes and I make the the pies. I make awesome cocktails with my flavors. I know you. I'm lying. a mixologist <laughs> of CBD, literally. I know you lying. Girl. Yeah, you know. So that's some of the things I'm thinking about bringing to some of the expos and other things that okay. I do, sort of infusing some things and baking a little bit and all that fun stuff. Great. So far, how's, how's your experience been as being an entrepreneur in, in a state like Georgia where it's still not all the way legal? We have so many gray areas we're still playing with down here. Um, how's it been so far as for your experience? I'm going to tell you, the headband has been giving me some opportunities. Okay. And I think you may know what I'm saying when I say that. So those that are a little bit uncomfortable with the industry and mm. folks in the industry when I come in with a headband and my products are kosher so when you have kosher oh, products we're gonna get to that later too, exactly like, yeah. exactly <laughs> they feel a little bit com more comfortable with me when I come in in the headband which is interesting <laughs> okay it's like code switch 101 exactly <laughs> exactly so you know they've been more welcoming I think they've been listening a little bit more mm. uh, my background in education and let me tell you they do some some research on me yeah. So um, what they call, someone told me your pedigree is good. I didn't know if that was an insult oh. or, or what. Oh. And, and we talked about it because yeah. I'm a chief diversity and inclusion officer corporately. Yeah. So I had to educate them a little bit about the use of pedigree. But um, those are some of the things that I've had to deal with. And people are <laughs> shocked that me as an African-American female is in this industry. Do you know it's funny? And it, it's normally this would be a joke for life if I'm daily, but I often walk in the room and I know they're trying to figure out what type of you are you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. like you know, there's always levels. Like, you really got to, again, code yes. switch and know this. You got to know what level they think you are. Exactly. Like exactly. I'm friendly. You know, yeah. I'm not the rabbit type. I am type. too. You know I, mean? I am too. That's cool. Let's talk about, yeah, it's not only is, is your lines vegan, they're also kosher. Yes. So let's talk about how you, how you pulled off this magnificent feat. <laughs> a lot of research. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not an easy thing to pull off. It up. is not. And when all of your products have to be kosher and our rabbi comes in and certifies this, it's a process. So we can't Do go to market. Do you have a rabbi market. like on standby There is a like rabbi. <laughs> our manufacturer has a rabbi that literally comes in mm. and they certify kosher Kentucky. So it's they're really big um, and, and everything's real. But I mean, kosher is not just for religious purposes. Um, people that have, you know, lactose intolerance issues or they're vegetarian or they want a healthier, cleaner type of um, brand or product, they look for kosher labeling. Mm. So that was my niche that I wanted to go with. But I'm going to tell you, bringing stuff to market is a process, like the sports cream. I can't just say it's coming out next week. Like, others can just deliver quicker yeah. because of the certification process. Yeah, no, I, t I totally understand that. Um, I do know you have a past working in, in with the military. Yes. Um, knowing about what veterans go through and knowing what even active military members are going through, um, would you would you advocate for military members, if active and non-active, you know, to be able to use CBD and use a product? Products like that in order to go through some of the psychological and mental things issues they do definitely with. definitely and I mean the VA I've already started having some conversations you know with yeah. the VA and it's a process let me tell you and because of you know legislations and everything else the laws you know it's a we have roadblocks yeah. still but educating is key and just think the PTSD the pain challenges all of the you know surgeries and things that they're recovering from even insomnia being able to sleep or being at peace it's needed. Yes. It's definitely needed. Yeah. So offering products that are THC free and products that, you know, full spectrum, it gives them some options. Yeah. You know, as we as we move forward in this industry, um, one of the things we speak about often is inclusion and yes. making sure that we have um, people of color being involved in yes. the industry. I feel like one thing that does hinder us from getting involved is um, we still go through generational issues. With the <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I give I give my own family as an example from what my mother yes. believes about cannabis to what I believe about cannabis to what my nephews who's 
19 now and a sophomore in college believes about cannabis are three different views of cannabis. Yep. You know, like my mom came up in the jazz era which as far as she gets started, everything's a drug. Exactly. You know, where I came up listening to Snoop Dogg and I and literally I <laughs> read me listening to Red Man how to roll a blunt taught me how to roll a blunt. You know what I mean? Like I, I did that through music. <laughs> Got it. To where my nephew is right now, you woke up in the era where all you know is a black president and weed is legal. That's you know it. like, like That's exactly Yeah, it. your whole perspective is way different. Yeah. How do you feel like we can connect those generations in understanding the importance and the 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 both financial and and, and, med- and health wise benefits of cannabis? I mean we have to be there, you know, with them. We have to support the different generations. I work a lot with millennials, you know, as well and younger generations. Um, and you have to know how to speak their language and and listen to each other as well. Yeah. Uh, but if you're not open to have the conversation or to meet them where they are, you're never gonna, you know, be able to move the mark with yeah. things. So it, inclusion is definitely important. I feel like I feel like that's a huge, you know, we we especially when it comes to generations, we have an issue trying to meet each other yes. kind of where and I'm blessed to have a mother who's who's I was a, the youngest, so they all you know, my, my sister and brother often say that they should she just kind of gave up with me, like her and my father. <laughs> they didn't do the, the discipline that they have, I just didn't get it. Got you know it. what I mean? Got <laughs> like, it. Like they, they, she was tired by yeah, then. <laughs> they stopped they stopped beating and started rationalizing. Okay. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> started trying to play the reason game with you. Got so it. I have a different perspective with my mom. Like she's finally trying to understand what the importance of cannabis. Like she saw yeah. me in creative loafing one time and actually called me and said, So I see you in the story and you're talking about jazz and you know, I used to go to jazz clubs. This is why Ray uh. Charles used to get arrested all the time because of the weeds and you know, so now we can have these open conversations. Definitely. But it's about meeting somebody halfway and yes. we have to um, also not be fearful of having the conversation. That's right. Yeah, so I'm glad you're here to have the have that conversation. Thank you. So Greenhouse Bliss, there's gonna be a lot of, there's going to be a lot of um, expectancy coming out the brand soon and soon. You yes. know, tune out the 19 and you are officially here. Yes. What are some of the things we should expect from you over the, over the next year? Well, the big thing is um, stepping more into the sports and athletic side of the okay. game. And the sports product, this athletic product, is it's going to be hot. And okay. being able to make medical claims is going to be big. Oh. So <laughs> definitely looking forward to that one. And just moving the mark, um, you'll see more packaging and more labeling on the shelves, mm. period, around kosher products. Just because, you know, everyone has the gluten issues, everyone has the non-GMO needs, yeah, etc. Yeah. So that's going to be a big one. So seeing more of that and promoting the brand around the kosher aspect, the clean aspect of the product, you'll you'll hear that more. And for me, I'm just going to be testing. We have what we call our mad scientists, you know, in the <laughs> lab. I'm going to be doing all kinds of things, bringing all types of products, yeah. empowering women. The wholesale part of my business is big. I was at the Atlanta Women's Expo, and I heard from seven women that they cannot get into this industry. And so I started a community, mm. you know, support program through my company where I give major discounts if you are low income, if you're disabled, a cancer patient, or a veteran. And also they can buy from me wholesale, and I work with them on their pricing. And, you know, hey, sell the greenhouse, make your money off a of greenhouse, and I will sell to you at a reasonable rate to help you Girl, get your make money order. for you. <laughs> That's exactly it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm exactly not bad it. about that. Empowering women yeah. and, and us, you know, people of color um, and underserved communities as a whole, whatever your color. Yeah. Well, that's amazing, man. Well, I'm definitely glad that you had a chance to come out here and share your story with us. Thank you. Um, before you, before we um, do exit out of here, is there anything you want to let people know as far as how they can get in touch with you, how they can actually touch on, the, how they can actually get some products from Green Bliss yes. or anything like that? Go to the website, greenhousebliss.com. Visit it. Visit. Send everyone there. Um, help a sister out. Okay. You know, definitely go there. And I'm there for you. If you cannot afford, because it's real, our products are expensive. This stuff is not cheap. And you'll see it across the industry but if you need this product and it's just out of your budget email me and I work with people I mean I oversee everything I have a team that works for me but I am the bottom line so I don't want anyone to not benefit especially underserved communities from this alternative you know product that we have to fit their needs that's amazing, man. Uh, you know, and I, and I always skip this question. I, I, this, this is normally my last question for people. Um, looking back on your own past experiences yep. from dealing with um, cancer to the transition you made in business to where you are right now, what advice would you give your old self who was going through all that, at, you know, saying with, being yep. that you now have, you know, um, um, you can now look back in retrospect? Well, I mean, sitting here now, people, I guess, automatically assume, I hear this a lot, too, that, you know, I grew up with a silver spoon in my mouth and, oh, she went to this school.
school in that school, and what her school family you supported UT oh, okay. Longhorn. And oh, you went to Texas? Yes. Ah, my yes. wife from Houston. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And you know, St. Mary's Law, so private. But I've been on my own since I was 17. My mom was 16 when she had me. I have not had the silver spoon, you know, situation. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell people, don't give up. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, make that ish happen. And, you know, I'm here. You can email me. I'm always accessible. I answer emails. I answer phone calls. But definitely check out GreenhouseBliss.com. All right. That's what's up. So, so far what I learned about you is life ain't no crystal stair. That's right. Um, you went to Vegas several times without me and never said any two words I about it. I will take you with me <laughs> next time. And that you are a warrior who could overcome a lot of things. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Well, I do appreciate you for coming out here and checking out Georgia Hemp Company and participating in Cash Color Cannabis Live. I thank you again for coming out. And also, it's your birthday today. Can it we is. Wish Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. It is. She came down here on her birthday, man. Thank you for having me. I have to traffic. support. Have to support. I, well, I do appreciate you coming out. And as we say, this is Cash Color Cannabis, a higher level of conversation. Thanks so much. No problem.